some stuff you haven't seen before. Why don't you run down the strengths and weaknesses of the Republican Party as you see them? Well, obviously the strength is their ability to turn uh, mistruth into something people would believe. That is a tremendous advantage when you're running for office. Um, the way they can turn anything into a wash, like they're doing now with Kerry's military record. I mean, Bush has a pretty indefensible military record, especially for someone who's running as a war president. Uh, but they're able to muck up John Kerry's record, spin it, tarnish it to the point where people go, hey, you know what, uh, there's some crazy stuff about Bush in the war and there's some crazy stuff about Kerry. It's a wash. That's what they do so well. They did it when the Iran stuff came out in the 9-11 report. That was a big, big story that we attacked the wrong country. Iran was the one who actually enabled the 9-11 hijackers by not checking their passports. But it was the same week that some stuff came out about Sandy Berger stealing some papers in his pants. It's a wash. That's what they do well. But don't um, you see the same kind of, to be fair, because you're a libertarian, don't you see the same kind of smear tactics being used by the left? Come on, the Soros no. websites have for a year, for a year, smeared every guy and gal with whom they disagree. To, and I'm one of them, so I know what I'm talking about here. Isn't the tactic mud and we're just going to fling it as much as we can, Michael Moore, Stuart Smalley, whoever it is, fling in the mud, hope it sticks. <laughs> you, you, you refuse to actually even use his name, Al Frank, and he's, he's Stuart Smalley. Um, he is indeed. Well, I, 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 you know what? No, I, I don't think so. I think the Republicans are better at it. That's why they win. I honestly don't believe that the majority of the country uh, is in line with the philosophy certainly the hard right philosophy of this administration and yet they win election after election because they're better at selling the product because a bad product well apologized for as we all know is is better than a product that more more people would actually like to use well but i think there's a lot of people that are frightened of uh... the progressive philosophy they don't want major changes in the country they like the country and they understand that <laughs> bad things happen in war what? and they're not ready to throw the guy to the wolves if he was as bad as you think he is he'd be behind by forty percent in the polls he'd have ten that's not true jimmy carter in nineteen eighty was playing one of the worst hands a president could ever play there was the misery index inflation unemployment all in double digits the hostages in iran it had not been a successful presidency and still he was neck and neck with ronald reagan until the last week people i agree with you are conservative when they get in that voting booth they just don't want to throw out the incumbent the incumbent but come on president bush is not playing a very strong hand himself and i I have never seen a president who depends more on the intellectual sluggishness of the American people. If the people really followed what he was doing, if they really knew what was going on in this country, I do think he would be for But I know what's going on in this country, and I'm still an undecided voter. I know exactly what's <laughs> going on, and I'm not a partisan. Um, really? I'm and it real, doesn't I'm, bother Go ahead. You don't think that this president has in every possible way sold out the interests of the common man for his friends and big business no i don't just on the no, i think that's really way oversimplifying the situation and i think the guy has spent a lot of money to try to improve education i see the numbers i know what he wants to spend i don't see him as some kind of corporate tool i will concede he, i will concede opposed, that his base that his base is the establishment and are the business people and that he does play to that crowd i'll concede that but i don't think he's some kind of corrupt midget like you do well i guess we'll agree on we'll disagree on that look you know as well as i do that all of these politicians are self-serving most of them are looking out for themselves if you look at bill clinton's record on the draft on vietnam on education spending on all of this and you look at george bush's record they're pretty much the same are they not no. I don't think Bill Clinton really ever lied about anything important. We all know what he did lie about, but I don't, I don't recall anything that was substantive that he told me a lie that I couldn't, that I was like, wow, he really did a turnaround on that when he campaigned on this and he became that. What I'm trying to say to you, and I think you know this to be true, is all of these guys come from the same cloth. 
they're going to do what yeah. they have to do to retain their power. You know that. Yes, but, but it, yeah, you're, you're right. To, but uh, again, if you want to take the Clinton example against the Bush example, Bill Clinton didn't deplete the entire treasury in an effort to get reelected. He left us with a surplus. George Bush, who uh, has, has used not just the money that uh, he raises to buy television ads to get reelected, but has used really the entire U.S. Treasury because to get reelected. Because he's fighting a war on terrorism that's an enormous no, no. cost. Are you, are you kidding? That's not what the cost is. That is a fraction of the cost of what he has spent to get reelected. I'm talking about farm subsidies. I'm talking about pork barrel spending. I'm talking about raising discretionary income 25%. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about that giant Medicare entitlement program that nobody needed in this country. He has bought off every little constituency he can find in an effort to get that second term his father never well, got. You, you listen, you sound like a conservative, because the conservatives don't like his big spending ways either. Again, I'm, right. not, I, I'm not here to, to do... All I'm here to do is provide perspective to you, Bill Maher, who need it desperately. Because you seem to be <laughs> taking the side... <laughs> of the Democrats when I'm telling you there's very little difference between them. There's no difference between Kerry and Bush on Iraq. There's no difference at all. There's no difference between Kerry and Bush on education spending, on prescription drug spending. There's no difference at all. They're the same guy. Well, what? there is less difference than a lot of us would like. There's no I would agree difference. With that. They're going to be agreeing with each other on the debates. Well, again, I don't think that John Kerry uh, is going to give tax breaks to the rich people. Tax like, breaks like, to what rich people? The rich people carry all of the federal income tax in this country. You know that because you're rich. You, you pay it. Yeah, I pay it, and I would gladly give it back.